All right. Phone's on silent? Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. Do you put my phone on silent? <laughs> I think you'll be fine. If, it, if you want to put it on silent. No, it's on silent. I just, you, you spoke from my phone, so. All right. All right, guys. We got renewed again. <laughs> we are at the all-new Grayton Beer Brew Pub, and we're really excited because uh, guess what we got now? We're official. We're oh, official. we're official. <laughs> yeah, we have. It's no longer What's on Tap. It is. What's on Tap. We didn't run through that. The magic of television. (laughs) We have a new jingle, and uh, it's partly because of a good friend of ours, uh, Ken Johnson. And we we thank Ken and Andy for cutting that jingle for us. Uh, It's the new What's on Tap jingle. Hey, jingle time. What's on Tap? I'm used to singing there. That was was our sing (laughs) spot. I know. I feel like I... Like, I can't get out of my head like Ed Helms in the office. Like, I shouldn't. <laughs> What's on tap? What's on tap? That's awesome. So, thank you to Ken and Andy. Uh, we do have a special guest that's coming up at the end of our program today. But right now, we're at the Brew Pub in Grayton Beach. Whoa. And, uh, yeah. Check it out. Chelsea, tell me about your new place. Not as special guest, but I am yeah. here. You're so a we, very special <laughs> guest. <laughs> yeah. We are here at the Grayton Beer Brew Pub, which was formerly Aquapi... <laughs> One rosé, right. and I'm just done. Um, formerly occupied by Craft Bar 30A, so we're located just east of the four-way stop in Grayton Beach, open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Um, revamped look, revamped everything, menu. We've still got the great chef and staff um, here, but we've brought in a seven-barrel small batch system, yeah. tons of beers on tap, as well as wine and cocktails, so... Lots going on. Lots the, to offer. And the lunch special, ten dollars. You get a beach burger and a beer or a drink of your choice. Right. If you're non-alcoholic, ten, we got those. Ten dollars. What? Bucks. That's good. It's a pretty That's killer good. deal. That's crazy. So orient everybody where the brew pub is. Right. So we are east of the four-way stop in Grayton Beach, 170 East County Highway 30A in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. Um, get to the four-way stop. Take a left, like your great parking. Yeah, plenty yeah. of parking. Great food. Outdoor seating, indoor seating. Three bars that you can sit at and just drink all the beer that we have on tap. Wow, Uber. Try, try the wings. Oh my God, the wings. <laughs> the wings are delicious. <laughs> Silly. Is, yeah, the wings are great, and uh, the menu looks fantastic. Uh, you'll have a ton of beer on tap, apparently. We will. So we've got a killer um, draft system back here, but we've also got a small batch system that we've installed. It's going to be operational in about two weeks, so we'll be able to do some one-offs and limited releases out of this place that we really couldn't do from the tap room. So this will offer some unique opportunities for people to try some really cool killer beers. And there's a mini Tyler that works at the small batch area. <laughs> yeah, we got a tiny one. Tiny one, yep. <laughs> Josh Gogger is going to be our head brewer out of here, so he's excited nice. about the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be awesome. Any rumors on what you're going to be putting in those big vats of beer over there? So Oh, I can't really release anything yet. Um, We just released a new porter that's actually on tap here that was exclusive to our tap room prior to that. So that's something new and exciting that people can come and try immediately. Um, Once it gets operational in that small batch system, I think the possibilities are infinite. And they can find the brew pub on social media? We are. Great and Beer Brew Pub, Facebook, Instagram, Yelp, TripAdvisor. And who's in charge of all that? Well, so it's an internal job. You're a special <laughs> guest. <laughs> so Chelsea's in charge of all that. So uh, if there's any uh, information that you need about the Brew Pub, yep. go to their Facebook page. That is the number one source for anything it happening is. here. And Chelsea's uh, personal cell phone is 850. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to get information. That's right. Her Uber credit card is <laughs> yeah, right. social to follow. And Chelsea cool. is Coming that person right. right over there. <laughs> You guys also uh, keep apparel, and uh, you doing uh, growlers and stuff here, too? We do. So we've got growlers. We've got crowlers in the work, which are can growlers. They'll be 32 ounces. Anything on tap, you'll be able to get in a crowler. Um, we've got some merch, hats, T-shirts, as well as all of our glassware is available. So lots of options. Take great and beer with you when you go. So and, when, it, and when the girls drink all of this, they become meowers. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, um, so what's your favorite thing on the menu so far? I am, I cannot say that I'm a wing person per se, but these wings have totally converted me. They're my new favorite. Um, Served with a beach blonde white sauce, which we have sourced through our friends at Back Beach Barbecue. They have perfected that recipe and it's to die for. So I'm told wings are transformative. (laughs) (laughs) I get it. You get it. All right, cool. Um, Thank you, Chelsea. Of course. Happy uh, to be here. Please send out the invite. We'll come anytime. Yes, please do. That's really great. So Kevin, we have some really cool things that are going on this week. Uh, We've got, we've got, 
Hey, man. <laughs> I feel like I should have a stack of magazines to sit on. I, you like it? There it is. There we go. Gosh, man. We did a good job on that. Uh, Sand Jam's over in Panama City Beach. Sand Jam, exactly. A lot and, of great uh, bands. And... A lot of great bands. Uh, and Great and Beer Company is going to do their 30A Rose Goza keg debut That's to the awesome. masses over there. So uh, check out their social media tonight, and they're going to be uh, uh, broadcasting live from Sand Jam. Uh, uh, Thursday night, so we'll nice. uh, check it out. That's cool. And uh, Megan, <laughs> Megan joins us. Now. <laughs> hey guys, that's, that's awesome. Good job, Megan. Uh, that was weird. That, got, that was weird for me, even though I knew it was happening. Like it was still like watching it on the screen. So Megan, Megan has a lot of things going on. Uh, she's in charge of all of our gear. Uh, tell us a little bit about some gear that we have coming out for the summer. Yay, gear. Okay, here, hold this. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is our new Beach Happy hat. So we have a white trucker. Uh, We had it in a lot of different colors, but we just brought it in white. It's going to be really cute. Oh, thank you. It looks good on Kevin. And then we have some... As if my head didn't look uh, big enough. (laughs) Some new tank tops. So there we go. Yeah, go ahead and put that on. All right. (laughs) <laughs> so, okay, everyone loves our Dumpster Diver t-shirts. They are made out of recycled plastic water bottles. Um, so we're obviously bringing some new designs and silhouettes in. So we have tank tops and cover-ups. And then we also have, just to highlight on one of our new designs, uh, is our salty design. Salty. And so we have Cinco de Mayo coming up ah, right around the corner. We were supposed yeah. to hold it up. So... Our salty design has been really popular. Why can't uh, we hold up a t-shirt? I know. Well, this is my left. There we go. <laughs> There we go. There we go. And this is our slouchy tee. So still same fabric, uh, recycled plastic water bottles. They're super, super soft. And we're doing a promo for What's on Tap viewers. Whoa. What? Yes. Wait, did I just hear What's on Tap? What's on Tap? Jingle time. (laughs) All right. So anyone watching, if you use the promo code on tap. On tap. At 38gear.com, you'll get 21% off your order. Whoa. Whoa. So go to 38gear.com, use the promo code on tap, and on you'll get tap. 21% off. It'll only last about five days. Five days. Uh, so I'm not sure this exactly when it's going to end. promo will self-destruct. But, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But 21% off, uh, just go to 38gear.com, and you'll see all of the designs that we've highlighted, plus a ton more. And yeah. you're, you're getting to hang out at another wine festival. I am. This weekend is the uh, South Walton Beaches Wine and Food Festival. Yes. And where would that be? Um, it's at Grand Boulevard. And awesome. it's Yeah, it's going to have um, tons of wines beers, champagnes. Uh, we're going to be pouring 30A wine, so we'll have our Malbec, Red Blend, Chardonnay, and our 30A Rosé wine. And awesome. then the 30A Rosé Goza beer will also be at the Craft Beer and Spirits Jam and at the festival. They'll be pouring yep. all weekend, so you'll be able to check out all of the Great and Beer Company uh, happenings uh, at the festival as well. And it's yes. pretty pretty much sold out, so if you want to go I here know. at Great Band, you can oh. still walk around Grand Boulevard. They have Guru Fish playing on Friday, which is mm-hmm. pretty, pretty great. That was actually my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. so. But yeah, it'll be a really fun event. Oh, um, it's okay. part of the Destin Charity Wine Auction uh, Foundation, and they have the auction on Saturday, yep. and then we're pouring Saturday and Sunday from 1 to 5. That's awesome. So, so we have a special guest today. and uh, I, I feel like I've been here the whole time, <laughs> and I have not been <laughs> Kevin, referred to as special. Kevin's here. I feel like I'm a little pushed back. You're a little needy right now, I, I, I feel. Like. It's my love language, yeah. honestly. <laughs> so we're a little nervous. Affirmation. About- we're a little nervous about this uh, interview. It's a it's a pretty big time star here, um, one of the biggest stars that lives on 30A. Actually, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm happy to be here, and um, I would really want to talk about what's going on in my life. So I'm told that he was sitting near Luke Bryan at the ACM no, AMC it's Awards. It's not you. It's uh, not me. He's been on the Kelly Pickler show, which is crazy. Nope, uh, he's been in a hot tub with Lee Bryce. Oh, well, that may be me again. <laughs> so uh, uh, he, he is releasing a new CD, and he's part of this in- incredible new CD uh, that I believe was uh, written a lot of it down here on 30A. Whoa. So uh, we'd like to introduce to the show the Fiddler Crab. There he is. <laughs> well, it's really nice to be here. How you guys doing? It's, what's your name again? Uh, my name's Kevin. Nice to meet you, Jimmy. Nice. nice. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I said. I feel like there should be a should be a level of respect at the beginning. Sure, sure, yes, of course, of course. Uh, okay, so nice to see you too, Chris. Thank, uh, thank you, that's, that's thank you, right. Fiddler Crab. Uh, so, how have you been, Fiddler Crab? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, you know. So I've been laid out. I fell asleep on the beach. You know, I was supposed to have an SPF 165, but I only had a four, so <laughs> kind of red at the moment. Got a bad case of giant eyeball. 
<laughs> but I'm sort of black and white and red all over, I guess you could say, you know, like a newspaper, you know what I mean, man? That was a lot. That, that That's was a, a lot to take in just now. And so I, wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to what I, you said. I, I, um, um, sure, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> so, uh, please, please try to pay attention. Phil, I'll try. Phil, what was it like being near Luke Bryan? Uh, Luke Bryan? Yeah. Well, you know, sort of like it is when I'm out on the road with playing fiddle for anybody like that. Like, you know, either with, um, with Taylor Swift or like Charlie Daniels. <laughs> right. You know, people like that. It's right. sort of like it is being with Luke, except for he's like a little more handsome. Right. So like roughly me. the so same like, build as me or, 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 me. or Huck or you. Huck. <laughs> Did, <laughs> so we're here to promote your album. Do you have a new album coming out? Well, I can't take full credit for it, but I'm here sort of promoting. Like, <laughs> now, I was a fiddle player for Charlie Daniels and Taylor Swift, but also for <laughs> Huck and Lily. <laughs> and Huck and Lily have a new album coming out. So they want me to, they think my fiddle playing may be too good for it, so they want me to help with promotion instead. Did yeah. you, did, Huck and Lily around here, Kevin, you might be familiar with this. They're, they're kind of like the Vegas kids rock concert they, <laughs> that they is book this. every week yeah <laughs> yeah they, they have they, a residency they're right? in seaside they do a great job they have a great following you know i mean i think phil you're at, you're at a lot of the shows correct you're, yeah, yeah but usually kind of hanging out in the trunk in the back you know right for my appearance <laughs> right waiting yeah you have a writer like anything specific that you ask for huck and lily to provide yeah, I, like, uh, I like a pack of skittles but just the red ones just the red ones <laughs> just, yeah, i don't like that <laughs> I have to take all the other colors out or i don't want them just keep them to yourself so uh you have an album out that's been out that everybody he loves. Well, there's a tree growing in my room featuring the hit song, Phil the Fiddler Crab, He Don't Play the Fiddle, which is not true because I do play a little. But but it's not it's not about you, though, right? I mean, we're talking... We're well, talking more or less, it actually kind of is. Oh, know. got it. Uh, but no, I guess technically, no. No. So let's talk about the new album. Is there a new one coming out, or what are May we doing first, here? we're super excited as the <laughs> promo for Huck and Lily. That's uh, awesome. Super excited to introduce a new album. It's called Sunshine. Uh-huh. It's 11 new songs for music for kids and the grown-ups who love them. Oh, that's sweet. Well, what kind of songs do you play on? What's the, what kind of songs do I play yeah, on? I mean, Don't what, worry what about the, it. Yeah, Don't what are the songs? Well, I, like I said, more or less, I'm working promotion for this record. <laughs> I like a fiddler crab of many hats. <laughs> uh, let's get to the website first so people can sure, uh, sure. try and decipher what we're talking Fiddlercrab.com. about. Fiddlercrab.com. <laughs> oh, you mean for Huck and Lily. Oh, yes, I'm yeah. sorry. The page sure, you requested is not available. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> so, so huckandlily.com, would that be the website? Huckandlily.com. And make sure, don't forget the www in the front of that. There is very important. There are so many internets, you really got to specify. I'm thinking you might add a couple extra w- Ws <laughs> on that domain <laughs> with those hands. Well, these, I use these so I can show people that sign language has a www. You got to have all these. <laughs> Okay, hey, Filler Crab, did you write a lot of these songs down here on the beaches? You know, technically no, but pretty <laughs> much I feel like I probably kind of had a lot to do with most of every song. Pretty much wrote them by myself, recorded, sang them, and everything, and then they just took my ideas and then put a hook and lily on it. Would you nice. say that this album couldn't have happened without you? Oh, that most definitely be impossible. <laughs> I can't see how it could, especially nobody to there to promote it. I mean, who's here today? This guy. <laughs> uh, I'm did, you just, did you just point at yourself? I've tried to. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you've kind of lost some of the feeling in your arms, or well, you sleep on your arms wrong. Quite some time, <laughs> a little crusty. Did you? And I'm assuming Slow Mo Joe was just too slow to get here. He's still on his way. <laughs> he left That's a couple the problem with him. He's never had time. He's always <laughs> less slow because he's turtle. A uh, hard question here: Who's taller, you or Kevin? <laughs> no. I'll no. say me. That's gonna be. That's an uplifter. <laughs> All right, and uh, also in, in preparation for. Uh, something that happens here year-round. It's almost fiddler crab nesting season. Uh, what should we be doing? <laughs> Spring break. <laughs> uh, what should that we... wasn't on the. Oh, it is on the. It is on the paper. I didn't know. <laughs> what precautions should we take for fiddler crab nesting season? Uh, I mean, please send a donation. <laughs> You can just make a donation to www.huckandlily.com. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Slash right. old fiddler crab. <laughs> Slash page ID three four seven. Even if seven, you can six. only give a thousand dollars, it's fine. <laughs> right. Every little yeah. bit. Helps. Every little bit counts. What would a thousand dollars do for Phil? <laughs> I would go down to Key West and see my cousins. <laughs> can, uh, what characters uh, of your friends uh, are on the new album? Are they oh. your friends? I mean, oh, do you guys yes. get all? Is there a lot of infighting when you're on the tour bus? Wait or? till you meet Sandy the surfing starfish. Uh huh. <laughs> and a puppy and a guppy. Uh huh. Who they ever thought that a puppy and a guppy could ever be friends in this world? Because one lives on the sand and the other in the water. 
You're really hitting those talking They go points. together like a diamond and a pearl. <laughs> you really? And, they and have a little <laughs> chorus, a little snapshot yeah. for you. And, and the songwriter kind of forced them together. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Huck and Lily, you know, they use a lot of my advice, and I said, thought they should do that, so they did. <laughs> where, where do filler crabs go to record albums? Uh, we usually go to the... Uh, to the, I don't know if you've ever been down to the crab studio down there on the uh, on Fourth and Elm Street. <laughs> no, I have not been there. <laughs> I have not. I missed that. Uh, did did Lonely Beach Tarantula make the new album? The the Lonely Beach Tarantula is no. He was mobilously just on a bootleg that was circulating. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it on. I'm just glad that everybody's going to be really involved with a lot of these jokes. That's really really funny. So uh, we've got the filler crab today, and he is with. Huck and Lily, it's a great, great album. Uh, the first one's amazing. It it's is, a really great album. Yeah, it we is. just said that. We it's said really that. great. It's really nice. It would be better if I had a fiddle on it. We just, we yeah. just said that. We just did say that. I want to say hey, shout out to our friend Skid Mills. He helped produce the record Skid Mills back in Nashville. How you doing, brother? Nice hey. to see you. Hey, hey, Skid. And we're pretty shameless here, too. Can you just maybe name drop some of your... I big, don't think big I don't th- industry friends. So I don't think would... he'll be able to. I don't know. Yeah. Are you able? Are you able to name drop? Oh, always name. Paul McCartney told me one time never to name drop. <laughs> so why don't so you, I will. Yeah, name drop for us. And there might be a share or something because filler crowd is very popular. Well, please go to huckandlily dot com. You can see interviews with Maggie Rose and Lee Bryce. Uh, some of my interviews with Jared Neiman, Kelly Pickler, Craig Wayne Boyd, the winner of The Voice. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have lots of interviews. We do a little, I think I did a really good job on it. It sounds like you did a great job. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's you're, very nice. I'm humbled welcome. that you would say that. What is your love language? I just love love in general. <laughs> good answer. That's great. So My love language, I'm a spring. I know that's my color, spring. <laughs> that's the same thing. We, uh, we are beautiful. very excited to have the filler crab on the show today. Uh, definitely go to huckandlily.com. There are songs that you will end up knowing by heart because your kids will not stop playing them at their house. The first album, The Tree, has been growing in our room for about three years now. So I'm, I'm We glad. just want to do music that you would listen to like on the way to school with your kids, and then you right. drop them off at carpool, and you still listen to it on the way home. That's right. totally right. Yeah. So, it's great uh, music. Yeah. So. I mean, I guess thanks to you. Thanks. I like to think I had something to do with it. Well, obviously. It, it I probably like didn't, but you know still. So well. anyway, so the filler crowd's going to still hang out with us. I do want to bring Andy Johnson in, and, uh, and I want to let uh, – come on back here, Andy. And, uh, and Ken Johnson is uh, the two brilliant people behind Huck and Lily. And I Thank you very much. I want you guys to see <laughs> – this <laughs> 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 got really close to that fake crab. So these are, these are the two that you can go to Seaside and see them. Uh, it's fantastic stuff. Uh, Andy is just fabulous on stage. Ken is marginal, uh, but the, the puppets are really, really good. Phil's great. Phil is great, and they have all the characters Slow out there. Joe. So go to SeasideFL.com, right? Yep. And check out their schedule. Make sure you go see these guys. And definitely when the album comes out, if you have kids, it's fantastic. And Thanks, guys. I want Appreciate to thank you guys it. for dropping by today. Thank, thank Ken, you for having yeah. me. It's nice to be doing Thanks the show. Thanks for doing the, the Thanks for doing the jingle. Y'all want to do the big, <laughs> the, the big goodbye here? Oh, is y'all there a big goodbye? Out? Y'all pan out. Is there? Thank you for watching What's On Tap. What's on tap? It's What's time for tap? our jingle. The logo's over my face again, isn't it? Right no. See you guys at the brew pub soon. Bye. <laughs>